Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for EMS Now. I'm here at SNT Nuremberg and I'm joined by Alan Morgan, who is chairman of the EIPC. That's right, Phil, yes. Amongst his many other jobs that keeps him very, very busy. Alan, thanks for joining me. Um, one of the key things about SMT Nuremberg is next year it will be the host for the Electronic Circuit World Convention 13. Correct. In 2014. A little bit confusing there. Right. Tell me a bit about what you've got planned there. I know you've had steering committee meetings this week. Well, this week was a very important uh, milestone for us because we had our first program committee meeting. Mm -hmm. So we sat down yesterday and we actually outlined the, um, the core for papers topics. So we, we have two basic threads. One is managerial, one is technology. Okay and we identified the areas that specifically we want to call for papers. So we had a great meeting and uh, you know, I'm very pleased that we had uh, the IPC guys here. Right. So um, that was a great contribution. We had the JPCA, the Japan guys, yeah. guys from Taiwan as well, and of course a lot of local uh, yeah. uh, contingent. So in fact the um, co-chairman of the committee is, um, is from uh, Fraunhofer IZ IZM, so that's a really, yeah. uh, really good um, contact as well. So we, we did the whole thing yesterday, yeah. actually did it on time, and we yeah. actually have produced another call for papers. So okay. we'll be sending that out in the end of this month. The World Convention is May 7th to May 9th next yeah. year. So we're still uh, 13 yeah. months away. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, our milestone was April to get the call for papers out, okay. which we will achieve. Yeah. Yeah. The deadline for submission is September. And then we're going to meet again in Taiwan at the uh, TPCA meeting in October right. and actually finalise the entire programme. Okay. So really an, an important step and um, um, we've also yesterday agreed the, uh, the keynote speakers. Uh, right. So we have um, one from each region. Uh, right. I can't tell you who they are just no, yet, no, but, no. Uh, but at least no. I've got the first one sorted out and that'll, okay. be, that'll be great. So uh, we were really very happy yeah, indeed with the cooperation good, yesterday. Yeah. And you mentioned the combination of technology and business yeah. or commerce. Uh, I think that's really important because mm -hmm. what's going on in terms of business is, mm -hmm. is, is really a good way of setting the scene. Right. Is it going to be a lot of trend stuff or what kind mm -hmm. of thing do you expect to have in there? Well, certainly we're going to start off with some, some business trends and, and, and technology, well, I'll say business outlook. I think mm -hmm. that's always interesting for people to see. You know, and Europe is, uh, is around a $3 billion PCB market. Uh, which is, you know, it's, it's quite a size. Although in terms of the world, uh, the world uh, slice is only five yeah. percent. Uh, but you know, we have to sort of see see really where, where our place is, where our, where our niches, and where our technology fits. And that's really where the two mix together. Because mm. you know, it's great having um, you know, having a business model, and business models will be part of the discussion. Supply chain models as well. There are many companies, um, OEMs in Europe, who are sourcing using part local supply and part uh, low cost manufacturing right. supply, and they have to balance this together to deliver, of course, a low cost solution. Yeah. An effective solution to their to their customers, so that'll be a large part of it. So we focused a lot on business mo business models, also total cost of ownership. So, mm. so we, we've asked for papers that actually people will explain how they how they analyse total cost of ownership. So how does right. the model work yeah. between using local sourcing and, and uh, say offshore sourcing as yeah. well? Technology wise, of course, Europe has um, a few specialist areas, mm. and we discussed it a lot yesterday to try and identify where we'd really like to, you know. Um, to focus and, and automotive is of course a, is a very big area for us as now is electromobility so this is something that we, we put together as a category but that is really quite an interesting topic now for us of course we have also industrial electronics where we think about power electronics which means also trains it means photovoltaic inverters and so stuff that really handles high power as well um, and we, we wanted to, to, to attract submissions in those areas as well where we can nice. actually show where we have you know, a big demand and a yeah. big and a big design drive from yeah. Europe as well. So that yeah. we uh, we really focus on heavily. Yeah. Okay. And in terms of um, your changing role, because mm -hmm. this time you're host, yes. I guess, which yes, is yes, really yes. really nice. Last time you were host was how long ago? 2002 in in uh, 2002 Cologne. 2002 in Cologne. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. So so a, a change in your role there in terms of attracting mm. the right kind of audience. Mm. To me, Germany seems exactly the right place. Having it right. alongside SMT. Mm. Um, makes all the sense but how, do, how does your role change when you do become host in terms of that audience participation the promotion of the mm. event well our, our sort of guiding body is the world electronic circuit council wcc whose job is to organize the world conventions mm. this is a body formed by all the trade associations around the world so um, the chair of the wcc uh, is the host of the last world convention right so currently it's david lie from from tpca okay. So David's job is to pass the baton to us, yeah. so we then hold the World, the World Convention and then we'll pass the baton on to Korea, in fact, for four years' time, uh, okay. when they'll host the next one. Um, so um, that's really the, the way the organisation mm. works. So you'll um, become chair of? Uh, it'll actually be Rex Rosario, because Rex was the chairman of the IPC uh, at the, when, uh, the last one, uh, okay, uh, last year. I wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't chairman already okay. of the IPC. So it'll actually be Rex's position. Rex is now deputy 
uh, Deputy Director General of the WECC. So okay. Rex will take over the baton in, uh, yeah, I guess in, I guess in May next year. Yeah. So that'll be the the, uh, the job he'll have. But basically, uh, the WCC exists to make sure the World Convention go goes well. Um, we've had, I can tell you, fantastic support from the Taiwan Association. Mm. Uh, the two uh, the two members were here uh, from the um, you know, from the last World Convention. They've shared with us the entire package they put together for the last World Convention, and they've been really assisting us uh, yeah. in, in great detail. The other thing I should say, and, and I want to say, is that. We've engaged Masago, who are the hosts of, uh, of SMT and the managers mm -hmm. of this exhibition, to actually run the uh, run the show for okay. us. Uh, and I, very I wise. Just, yeah, I, I say you say very wise. It, it's been a, it's been a really great decision. It wasn't my decision. I'm well, saying it was in parts, though, done yeah, before, but actually, like uh, we couldn't hope for better support. Yeah. Uh, they've been going around the the uh, the basic uh, shows around the world as well mm. to learn how things have been done. And they work very closely with us, and, I, and I'm sure we've picked the right partner. Mm. Um, you know, they were so so supportive yesterday and so helpful in the, the preparation yeah. work. They really are professionals, yeah. and I think, you know, the concept of bringing, uh, you know, a hundred plus world class papers mm. to Nuremberg alongside the SMT show with the embedding of the hybrid packaging will be, I think, a great combination. Yeah. So, so I think if you get a good exhibition and you get a good technical program as well, Absolutely. we should have great success. And I yeah. think, you know, all the indications are that'll work very well, and yeah. we are, you know, really happy with them as a yeah. partner. I have to yeah. say, very happy indeed. Yeah. To me, one of the keys of the event is that it's an international summit. It's, right. it's not just attracting the German right. audience. It's the, right. it's the fact that the Germans will, will be able to mix with the, the Koreans, the Taiwanese, yes. the Chinese, the, yes. the, the, the Japanese, yes. and the Americans, you know, everybody else. Yeah. Each, each, each individual body is responsible for putting together delegations? Is that how that works? Well, yes. They, um, basically, they're, they're expected to support the World Convention mm. because we all support each other. Um, and you know we will uh, we will hope they bring they bring delegates and they yeah. bring papers, because actually we have to have an international program. We couldn't uh, we couldn't just have European yeah. papers. Although having said that, um, we would expect to get a predominance of European papers, so maybe half mm. uh, from Europe, because we are showcasing this. Yeah. It's our it's our show, but we want to basically have the um, you know have the the world view. A, big picture, a yeah. good example of that would be, for example, we we went through the program yesterday. And uh, somebody actually from Japan said, "Well, what about um, what about consumer electronics? It's not there." I said, "Well, actually, it's not here. <laughs> we don't do much." She said, yeah. "Yeah, you don't do much, but your 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 um, um, your community buys a lot of consumer electronics. Yeah. So actually, you know, you should be there because yeah, you know, you these are consumers. Yeah. And of course, um, if we look at the world uh, the world consumer market, you know, Europe is the Europe. Twenty seven countries are the biggest consumer market mm. in the world." Yeah. We are the biggest one, so actually he was quite right. Yeah. So even and a lot though of design development MPI goes on here too. Absolutely true. So we put that in, and I think that yeah. was the right thing. It just yeah. shows you the benefit when you take a slightly broader a view, uh, view and, you know, and you get these these opinions that you we never would have thought of that. Frankly, yeah. we'd have focused on on what, what is important yeah. to us in Europe, but actually, uh, very important to Europe as well is the consumer electronics section section two. So that that came in as a result. Yeah, I mean, good. clearly, you know, Germany is um, yeah. is around half the market in, in Europe. So you know, Germany is the right place to be. I have no doubt about that. Um, you know, we see a lot of activity here, and a lot of very specialised activity, and we see a lot of consumer uh, consumer purchasing power in Germany as well. So I think, you know, I'm sure from all the aspects I've already mentioned, consumer as well, yeah. that it will be uh, it'll be the right place to present that kind of agenda and, and have a broad agenda. Yeah, and multilingual with simultaneous translation. Uh, the language will be actually in English. Yeah. Um, however, there will be uh, there will be uh, four parallel sessions running, right. and some of these will be in local language. We will okay. for sure host a, a German a German session, a German track, uh, or, yeah. or, or more than one. Um, there may also be a Chinese one as well. Yeah. Uh, the TPCA may want to present uh, their own yeah. uh, session too. So we're entirely yeah. open to that. But the, the the event is English. That's yeah. our that's our language for yeah. the WCC. Yeah. So proceedings will be in English. But there is uh, absolutely scope for for, for, for language tracks. And yeah. also um, in terms of sponsorship packages too, we, we also do offer sponsors the chance to host their own uh, session as well. So oh, if they okay. want to do that, we're also uh, more than happy to provide a, a track for them. And if they want to access those sponsorship opportunities, that's through eipc.org? Yes, uh, it'll actually be on the ECWC 13 website uh, oh, okay. within the next sort of two weeks. So basically, okay. uh, we're just about finalising that now yeah. as well. And there, there's a broad range of, of we'll opportunities. Make sure we have an announcement for that because then anybody watching the video can then access Great that later. Yeah. That'd so, great. lots about the um, the event next year. What else is the IPC doing? You've got an event coming up in Luxembourg. Just show me through what's happening between now and the uh, the, right. the international event. Well, we we, we, we run two uh, conferences a year generally, and uh, the next one is in is in Luxembourg, 27th, 28th of June. Um, so that's uh, our next big event, and we're having a, a visit to the circuit foil in Luxembourg, which is something that I am very much looking forward mm. to. We found over the years there's really three three key things to making an event work. One is the location. Yeah. 
one is the content and one is the let's say social program yeah. or, or an attraction and uh, you know we found that worked very very well in Berlin in yeah. uh, January we had a, we had a fantastic uh, technical program a great venue uh, very accessible and we had a, we had a good um, uh, of course attraction to visit Atatech so yeah. uh, I think the same will work in, uh, in Luxembourg as well yeah. We've modified the uh, the technical program over over the time to some degree, and there will be an academic session now. You know, we funded we, we've attracted a lot of European funding for projects uh, through the IPC and through, right. especially Professor Martin Goosey, who's uh, you know our VP of Technology now. Uh, we find these very interesting projects because they bring industry together with with academia, yeah. uh, and they, of course they work over over many countries. So we typically have four or five or six or seven sometimes member yeah. member countries actually cooperating on the projects. And of course, the IPC is a perfect forum for disseminating this yeah. information. Yeah. So uh, that will be a, will be a session by itself. We've got a very interesting one by NPL as well. So Chris Hunt's coming to talk to okay. us too. Uh, we have some the uh, National uh, Physics Laboratory. Sorry, yes, I should have. We're said avoiding that. acronyms as wherever we can. Uh, you're you're yep. quite right. Uh, we'll have a paper from Nanotherm as well mm -hmm. on, on ceramic, uh, uh, you know, thermally conducting uh, uh, materials, okay. and quite a few others. I, I probably have. Probably have forgotten most of the other yeah, ones. Yeah, but there's but lots going on. And those programs, program. yeah, those program. I was at their last Milan event, yes, and you know yes. the, the mixture of the the really high quality program, mm. great location, and yeah. as you say, I think it was the Isola uh, factory tour there. Kind it was in that Makes case, the yeah. whole thing right. very rounded. Right. Alan, it sounds like you've got a huge amount of work on between now and mm. this time next year, mm. May next year, sure as a chairman as well as as well as mm. keeping up with your real job. Right. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. Thanks for chatting and, and good luck with everything. Thanks so much, Phil. Good to see Thank you. you. Thanks very much.